Hello, my name is Borislav Panofsky and you're with Whitewater Rafting Education. In this episode we're going to show you key paddling techniques that can help you build your own rafting team and enter competitions. I hope you enjoy the video. Sports rafting is a great team sport. My good friend and teammate Alexander will share some of his experience with you. As Borislav said, rafting is a team effort. The bond between the teammates is very important. They need to be good friends on and off the river in order to compete successfully in races. Communication is a key aspect in sports racing. The team need to decide how they're going to approach the course before each race. Communication is one of the most important things inside the boat. It's very important that each member of the team knows what the other is going to do in order to keep the line down the river. What I've noticed is most important is that the team gets along well. As long as everybody knows what they're doing, the race goes well. If the communication between the team is bad, that's what can cause a major error going down the river and can cost a lot of time in races. It's very important to stay calm and not argue with your teammates. You should always put your ego aside and think what's best for the team. It's important to have fun. The best team is the one that has the most fun. For sports rafting, it is really important to have food straps or food cups in your boat. Make sure you buy a boat with those or put them yourselves. This is a normal way to sit in a raft, the stable way. In a sport rafting position, you can put one foot in the back, like this. This way you're less stable, there's a bigger chance you fall out. Your back foot is not supported as well. So if you lean too much on the outside, your bad back foot can release and you can fall out. If you're sitting in a six person's raft, you have another person behind you. You can put your leg like this and jam it. This way he will hold your leg in the right position and you can lean as much as you want without falling. If you're paddling with six people in the raft, each person supports the person in the front. This way he can lean out as well and do his thing. I can lean out and he can lean out. It takes a little bit to get used with the position your legs may hurt a little bit, it's the better position and you'll be facing forward this way, all together as one. If I'm missing out of the picture and you're paddling R4, he can sit like this with his leg behind the thwart or if he needs to be more forward, you can deflate the tube and the front person can put his leg underneath the cord. This way, the second person is no longer needed. He can lean as much as he wants. In sports rafting, every team member has a unique role according to where they're seated in the boat. This is why communication is extremely important when racing. In the, if you're sitting in the back, you can use prize and wide strokes in order to spin the boat. If you're sitting in the front, you can stick the paddle way out in front of the boat and pull the nose of the boat in the direction of your paddle. The pry is one of the most effective paddle strokes in sports rafting. This sets up the angle of the boat and the person performing the pry can also hold the position in the boat in strong currents. This is how ferry glides are performed. When the current is very strong, each team member has to lean in the direction of the current so that the boat doesn't flip while one of the two people seated in the back have to hold the boat in the correct direction while prying and while all the other team members give the boat forward momentum by paddling. When ferry gliding for example, one of the two back paddlers has a very important role. 
he needs to use a pry in order to maintain a 20 to 30 degree angle upstream facing the current while all of the other teammates give the boat as much forward momentum as they can by paddling forward. When trying to catch an eddy, one of the two people seated in front of the boat has the most important role. He needs to reach into the eddy with his paddle, stick his paddle inside the eddy and spin the whole boat around his paddle for it to come into the eddy. Keep in mind that the pry is an effective stroke but it slows down the boat. It almost looks like a stroke backwards and in a competition if you're aiming for speed it will slow you down. The more efficient way to turn the boat is from the front. When the boat starts to go left or right a little bit, the paddlers in the front with opening strokes or pulling strokes can set the boat in the right angle. As you can see, the person in the back does a prying stroke to set the boat in the right direction. This way, the other paddlers can focus on paddling hard and keep the boat up to speed. As your team progresses, you're gonna start and use more opening and pulling strokes in the front, and you're gonna use less and less prying strokes to maneuver the boat. Okay, another beautiful episode of Whitewater Rafting Education. We talked about paddling and maneuvering in sports rafting. If you liked our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit the links below to see more information on how to donate. Stay tuned, have fun and see you on the river.